know if we did this right or not. Okay. How did you come up with these two? The 25 percent. Kind of my process of elimination. Okay. Well, where did you start? Let's start with the one you we started did. with. Down by, yeah, down by 50. And up by okay. 50. So 100 to 200. to 200 is up by 50 percent. Yeah. So if you had a hundred dollars here, mm -hmm. correct? Yeah. What's 50 percent of a hundred dollars? 50. Okay. Um, why? Why are you saying oh? When I get it up, 150. Yes. Well, do you see why? Yeah, so then this would be 100%. Okay. So why is this one up 100 up by 100% to 200? Because 100 plus 100 is 100. It's 200. Good. So then, and the rest, I, I guess that'd, that'd be right because 160, 160. Okay, let's go to this one now. Since you moved to the down by 50%, between the 150 and the 100, let's check that to make sure. Great job. Half of 150 is 75. So is this price going down by $75? No. No. So, but none of them. Keep it where it was. No, what, this is one we have to like write in. Yeah, but we're not going to worry about these until later. Yeah. So why do you think that, Nick? Fifty percent of two hundred is a hundred. You subtract two hundred from a hundred, you get a hundred. Yes. If you subtract half of your two hundred from two hundred, then you get a hundred. Okay. So I'm in agreement with these two. In this one, see if you can work through the rest of them like we just did with those three. How do you like? The only thing, do you know how, how do we like find like something increasing by something? How do we calculate that? Like uh, up by a hundred percent? Yeah. You just add it to the. It's not adding it. You find the percent of that and then add it. That's one way to do it. What's so like a hundred? Find 37% of it and add it to 100. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay, so 200. If 200 was raised, 37% would be 274. Yes. Okay. Hi. Where are we stuck? Everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah. Well, how'd you get this one? Oh my God. How'd you get a hundred up by a hundred percent is two hundred? So a hundred times two. Because a hundred percent of a hundred is a hundred, and I added a hundred to that, which would make that two hundred. Excellent. Good job. How did you get that a hundred to hundred and fifty is up by fifty percent? Fifty percent of one hundred is fifty, so I added fifty to that and got a hundred. Great job. All right. Now let's check this one. How is 150 down by 50% 100? Wait a minute, I know that's wrong. Why is that wrong? No, I know it's wrong because yesterday's problem, I still ended up with 100% on that one problem. Huh. So it must be like less, but there's only four numbers. Hmm. Wait, wait, wait. I don't, I just don't know how to do percents in the calculator. Okay, let's talk about that. So we have these numbers here, like at 20%. How can you write that, excuse me, as a decimal? Good. So how could you use your calculator then to find 20% of 100? Try it. Is that right? Yeah. I don't know. Let's figure it out. 500, does that make sense? No. 100 times 20. 120. Hmm. Good job. That's 20% of 100. So it's 100 times 20%. So what we discovered from doing this little sidetrack is that we need to multiply by our decimal to find the percentage. Talk about why, Luke. Are we? Yeah, we're okay. I think we are. Why are you raising your hand? You're finished with that level? Okay, talk about how you got this answer. 
How did you know that 160 times 1.6 okay. is 100? One oh, the 100. other way around, sorry. One times 100, 100 is 100. 100. 6.6 6 6 of 100 is 60%. The 0.6 of 100 is 60%. It's not necessary. Whatever 60% is $60 dollars added on to that 100 and it's got one sixty. That was intense, but correct. Okay, um, how did you get the 0.6 repeating goes between the 100 and 150? 150 times 0.666, and I got 99.9. How come you didn't get 100? Because it's repeating. And you only put three? Yeah. Yeah, it goes on. It'd be like 0.9999 times. <laughs> <laughs> Even closer. Is there a fraction we could use for 0.6666666? Yeah, six, 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 do you know what it is? Yeah, let me tell you. I do. No, does. Wait a minute. Calculator's being evil. Oh no, you can't know how to do second. That was our last one, so. Mass fraction, fraction. 9999. No, not that. <laughs> Can you turn this decimal into a fraction? What is 0. 0.66666? Well, I know 0. 0.6666. It's just point. What fraction is that? Do you know what fraction 0. 0.33333 three is? One third. So what do you think 0. 0.6666? So this is later, this is Yeah, you add them. It's correct. Let's figure that out. All right. Um, why are all the ups, why do all the ups have ones in front of them? Why is that one two? Why do all the ups have ones in front of them? Stephen, you want to answer that one? Luke, you put them there. You did the ups? How did you get, how did you get this one? It plugs in right. Well, plug it in for me. Tell me what you're done. 160 times 1.25 equals 200. 160 divided by. What if you multiplied 160 times 0.25? What would you get? Times what? 25? Yeah, 160 divided by 4 is 40. So that's 40 okay. added on to that. Good. So the 160 plus the 40 would get you the 200. Mm -hmm. So instead of doing those two steps, you can just do one step if you put the, the one in front of it. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Cool. Fractions. We just got them. That's why we're. In. You do have the fractions now. Okay. Tomorrow, Will and Nick, I might have you talk about how you all came up with the, this number and those fractions, okay? Because you all did it a really smart way. Are you recording? Okay. No! Hey, it's getting intense. This is getting intense here. That's not that intense. That actually, that it, that is intense. Hi. Did you record everything? Can you do the diagonal for me real quick? And then record your diagonal. Oh, we got to draw You've got to have these guys share their And how they came up with it? Okay. Yeah, I mean, they... You the experience worked and worked, and worked and finally he's like wait I got it I got it I can't find a percent though <laughs> so how do you how can you find a percent if you know what else you do move it move it right two places I'll try it see what happens <laughs> <laughs> See, this is why your class is entertaining. You get to watch us struggle when you know all the exactly. <laughs> Hold on a second. <laughs>